Hey guys, welcome to the ninth tutorial of the series using MATLAB GUI with Arduino support package. And this is part four of the project interfacing l 2 with Arduino using MATLAB GUI. So today we are going to see the required circuit connection for our project. As you can see in the screen, this is Arduino Uno and uh, this is the fritzing circuit and this is the actual circuit I've made. Now here, this is right motor, this is left motor, this is the motor driver l 2 this is Arduino. Similarly, this is the Arduino Uno, this is left motor, this is right and this is l 2 motor driver. Let's first see the connection of right motor. The terminal of right motor is directly connected to output terminal of l 2 and the logic which controls this output terminal of l 2 is this one, this two, gray and blue wire which are connected to 7 and 8 terminal of Arduino Uno. Whereas that PWM or enable pin is connected to 6 pin which is the PWM pin of Arduino Uno so that the voltage across this terminal or this motor can be controlled. Now for the left motor, left motor is directly connected to output terminal of l 2 here. Whereas the logic which controls this motor is given from this two pin, the green one and the orange one, which is directly connected to three and four digital pin of Arduino Uno. Now the enable pin or the PWM pin, which controls the voltage across this motor is connected to fifth PWM pin of Arduino Uno. So these two, three and four pin is to control the direction of rotation of motor and this fifth pin controls the amount of voltage which we get across our motor. The 5 volt pin of l 2 is connected to this 5 volt pin of Arduino Uno whereas the ground pin of l 2 is connected to the ground pin of Arduino Uno. Now this pin here is the 12 volt pin which you are going to connect to the supply for your motor. That means your 12 volt battery or 9 volt battery. You can also connect this green pin directly to the 5 volt here. Now this circuit here is exactly similar to this one. I've made the actual connections similar to this one without any change. Now let's see the program which we typed in last tutorial for the program window of our GUI. So this is the code. Now here you can see this here is the M1F function and this is the M1B function. So this is for the left motor to rotate the left motor in a particular direction. Now here this right PWM voltage is assigning PWM value to the fifth PWM pin of our motor. Now this function here M1B and this is the function M1F which is for left motor. Now here right PWM voltage is assigning a PWM value to the fifth pin or the fifth digital pin of Arduino which you can see here. This one is our left motor and enable pin is connected to the fifth pin or the PWM pin number fifth of the Arduino. And the pins to rotate the motor in a particular direction are 3 and 4. So the pin here 3 and 4 is connected here for left motor. Now similarly for right motor, these are this is the function M2F to rotate the right motor which is this one clockwise. So the pin number 6 which is this one is given PWM value here. Now here 6 pin is connected to enable pin and controlling the right motor or the voltage across the right motor. Now the pin which controls the direction of rotation of this right motor is 7 and 8 in our program. And here 7 and 8 pin which is the blue and grey is directly connected here which controls this motor, the right one. So our connections are perfectly alright now and in the next video or in the next tutorial we'll see the working of our project so all the pins we assigned here in the program exactly matches the pins we connected to the pins of l 2 so that's all for today and in the next tutorial we'll see this gui and the program in action until then i see you next time bye bye